try again. I love a fractured identity, but I'm not going to pass a mana drain. How long was I gone? Badger, have a good gym time, buddy. I was driving as the draft ended, but I wanted to sympathize with the never didn't have a nature of the cube lately. I had what I thought was the best mono green deck I'd ever drafted with only a single game. Turn three natural or progenitus. Well, I don't have a fourth land drop, but I have council's judgment. <laughs> oh, and then we get a mox emerald passed to us. Well, that's okay. That's okay. Definitely taking a mox emerald here. Your break was longer than my st my streak. Over 12 minutes. Your streak is over 35 months, you liar. Oh my god. Is this what happens? We just turn into liars all the time. Unbelievable. I like I like carry at it. I like chart a course. I'm gonna chart a course. I'd rather be blue here. I have a fruit roll-up. An actual fruit roll-up. And unfortunately. You guys are going to watch me eat it. So if you guys are watching on YouTube, get ready to complain about the ASMR-esque nature of this stream. I've seen a lot of stupid shit this week, but someone putting a sticker here on a new scope I just received might be the stupid... What does this even mean? Yeah, that's a, that's a quality control indeed. Here, I'll show you guys on the on the YouTubes. There you go, right there, perfect. QC passed indeed. Thirty five months is over twelve minutes. Fruit roll up, it's fruitier. Undrum tuna. I feel like you're just saying words right now, and I don't think they're. We're gonna take mole drifter, big moles. Look at this beautiful thing. I think it's just Rex Sage. What if we're like blue green? What if I do this? I'm take Rex Sage. Man, I'm gonna take Inferno Titan. That guy's good. We're having a good time. As an adult, I've gotten to a point where I can eat a fruit by the, fruit by the foot or a fruit roll up in like one bite. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. <clears throat> I do like a Karn here. Now we're talking. Dragon Lord of Tarka. What is this deck we're playing here? I, I picked up this guy because <coughs> it's a good play off of um off of like a mana drain, right? Like if we have a black and a red. But I think we're I think we're closer to, to teamer fat daddies here instead. If I come visit you, can you make me a special sandwich? You know, something off menu. Feed me one of your special little children. <laughs> you know, give me one of your special little children. I guess I'll take Walliverts. Oh, dear.
Did Superfoots leave? Superfoots, come back. I'm a little behind on my messages in chat because I'm not home yet. I understand. I forgive you. I forgive you. Whatever, take them barrel rights. Uh, Copperline Gorge, okay. It's a playable land. I'll take a turnabout, whatever. None of these are any good. Oh, Iona, okay. What are you doing, Wallace? Wallace is doing big sniffs over there. Some big ifs. I like a person with some big ifs, you know what I mean? The bigger the if, the better the person. That's what I always say. Uh, mana Vault. Oh, I like a Mana Vault. Especially with a Karn. Once I heard my mom screaming, saying, Ben has a worm, my nephew. <laughs> we ran into the bathroom to see what was going on. We find his pants down and what looks like a worm hanging out of his butt. Turns out it was the waxy outer ring from Baloney. So I assume we put it there as like a, a little bit of a meme. He's, he's doing he's doing a little memeing. What a prankster. We're going to take Gruel Signet because that's two of our colors. No, he ate it and it didn't digest. It's so much worse. It's so much worse. Oh, it's a Golos. This is for this is for my boy Super Fritz. Grow up, people! It's called fiber, and it's good for you. <laughs> is it worse than putting it up your butt? Is it? Yes, it is because most of the time, most of the time, if you're a if you're a naturally clean person, your butt's going to be clean. You're not you don't just walk around with some poop in your butt all the time, right? So your butt's generally clean. It's just a butt, so there's a stigma to it, obviously. So if you just take a little piece of bologna string and you put it up your just just you just tuck it right in until you can until you can pinch it with a cheek, right? That's not dirty necessarily, right? But if you actually poop it out and it doesn't digest, it's covered in poop and still hanging out of your butt. Like that seems infinitely more gross than putting it in a clean butt. And at least to me. I'm going to take Metamorph here. Lumbering Falls is cool, but I think we can do better on our mana. Oh, are we an upheaval deck? We are definitely upheavaling here. Mana Vault, Mox Emerald, Girl Signet, Wall of Roots. Oh, we're going to upheaval the shit out of some people. Breeding Pool. See, that's what I was, that's what I was talking about. Don't be silly. I mean, putting things up your butt has historically been a good time. The thing about that is you're not putting it up your butt. It's not like you're taking it and shoving it all the way up your butt. It's not going into your rectum. You're literally just putting it between your cheeks and pinching it in such a way that it will it, it will it will stay there, right? That's it. That's all you're doing. Like it's not it's not like you're it's not like it's going all the way up into your anus. Like that's a little bit much. And I hope I can't get banned on YouTube or Twitch for this conversation because. It's really just an it's a, it's an anatomical conversation. We're just talking about physiology here. It's not we're not talking about any kind of weird stuff. So, what is the threshold for being up your butt? When I think of something being up my butt, I think of it like penetrating past the anus, not <laughs> which is which is a sentence I just said, and I don't know how I feel about it. Okay, okay. Oh god. High tide seems good in our up in our <laughs> I can't like it's a real conversation we're having right now. I'm fucking <laughs> Oh god. I'm just gonna take ancient grudge. I I I don't even know anymore, man. I don't even know. We could take Lotus Bloom and, and go off the term we Lotus Bloom, or even just having it. Uh, you could never unsay that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, the thing is, like, I'll take a Demir Signet, actually, because with the Demir Signet, we can actually play the Valky. 
Garrick is also fine. All right. This is coming around. This, this is coming together. Oh, Lumbering Falls just comes back casually, so that's cool. If I have Eureka, can someone explain to me Eureka and Valky? Do I get to put it into play on the Planeswalker side? I think I, I think I do, right? I mean, with Dragonlord of Tarka, Inferno Titan, Karn, and Valky, I'm not sure. Oh, oh yeah, double mocks in the upheaval deck on color moxes. Oh shit, yeah, boy. I love a deck fading, but we're taking this mox for sure. Uh, it says put into play, I believe. But I don't know why that would change it. Each player may put a permanent from their hand onto the battlefield. Golgari Signet. Golgari and Demir Signets let us cast the Valky in our teamer deck, which is pretty sweet. You only choose if casting. Is that right? <sighs> that makes me sad. Eureka sucks. Someone clip the buck quote, y'all. I can't. <laughs> oh, good times. I actually would have assumed that Affinity would have had it, like, immediately. I think it's just Golgari Signet. It could be Prismatic Vista. Unfortunately, we're not a, <laughs> we're not a great Marsh Flats deck. Um... Only choose when casting. I talked about I talked about this on Twitter. Dang. We already have two signets. I'll take the Vista. Oh, Volcanic Island is phenomenal for us. Holy baloney. That's a good one. Definitely taking that thing. Well, Godless Shrine, not where we want to be. Riftwing Cloud Skate, though. I was asked to turn down the volume as the participants in other Zoom meeting wanted to give their opinion on this. What? What does that even mean? I think it's just Riffling Cloudskate here. Oh, Course of Portal's pretty good, though. Hmm. I do like a Course of Portal, especially in this deck. Oh, a Bayou? Oh, I actually like a Bayou a lot. It's actually great with Golos, and it lets us, again, it lets us cast Valky. Yeah, we're not a Tinker deck. Yeah, we're just taking the Bayou for sure. Oh, a Stomping Ground and a Simic Signet and an Is It Signet and a Rakdos Signet? Unbelievable. I feel like we want an on-color Signet here, to be honest. I feel like it should be the blue one. They overheard the butt debate. <laughs> oh, of course they did. We could also take Time Warp, and I bet one of these four comes back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two cards are coming back. I'm going to take Simic Signet. Maybe? I don't think we need to play. Actually, we do, because we have two Moxes. Yeah, all right. I'm going to take Time Warp. I'll take any Signet that comes back. I'm pretty pretty fine with that. Oh, a, a Polluted Delta. But also a Thran Dynamo, and we're upheavaling, so... And we're trying to play big shit. Yeah, we're just taking Thran Dynamo here. Lotus Cobra, otherwise known as Codus Lobra. Yeah, I'll just take Lotus Cobra. Lotus Cobra gives us any color for both Golos and for um, Valky, which is nice. I guess we can just take Kitchen Finks. Not going to play the white here. Tezzeret doesn't do... Actually, Tezzeret's not even terrible on our deck. That's kind of funny. Still not taking a Tezzeret. Oh, the Kozilek and the Golgari Signet come back. Hmm. I mean, I kind of like Kozilek here, to be honest. Like, this feels like kind of a Kozilek deck. It's a late through the breach. Uh, we have a Kozilek and a Dragonlord of Tarkus. Sure, I'll take it through the breach. 
All right, last pick. I think Armageddon and something else. Armageddon and Avenger, maybe. Omnath Armageddon is my is my prediction. Adjacent to the bridge. <laughs> Parallel to the bridge. Omnath Spellseeker. Well, I'm going to take the Spellseeker here because well, not one of those signets came back. Which is, I mean, pretty much fine. I'm okay with it. Our land's also pretty decent. Morgan tries. I figured out how to cast Twitch to my TV. So you're, oh my God, Morgan. Good seeing you, buddy. It's been ages. I haven't seen Morgan in 10,000 years. So I need one cut here. It might be Harpy to Spring. I don't think this is a 16. It's a 15 lander technically because we have two mocks. But we don't have any one drops is the problem. So the, the reason you play 16 lands with a bunch of one drops is because you can go one turn Shut one and thing and then still have $2. Make that rent, yo. Oh, man, Dan's, I love you. Dan's is just given back because I pre-ordered two of her two of her records, which you guys can uh, which you guys can do yourselves at Channel 9 Records. Is it Channel 9 or Channel 9 Records? I'm just going to link it here. do, 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 do. It's Channel Line Records. And you can find all of Dan's merchandise and things right there. She's awesome. And if actually, if you guys literally haven't checked out Dan's music, you can check it out on Spotify and it's really, really good. Dan's is like literally great. <laughs> Okie dokie, we're having a good time. There hasn't been a Morgan around these parts in 45 years. What is that from? I think that's what I was thinking of. And I don't know what that's from. All right, so let's look at let's look at these colors here. I don't think we want a swamp, although I do kind of like it for Vista. This is a lot of artifacts. Good grief. Good grief. Good grief, he says. Okay. Bayou, Botanical. This is probably going to go on under the green section. Okie dokie. Gruel Signet. You can go here. Sapphire. You can go here. Emerald, you can go there. Okay. How many blue sources we got? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, seven. Eight, nine, ten. I'm okay with ten right now. Green, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That seems good as well. Red, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. And that also seems good. And then one swamp. I'm actually okay with all of this. Yeah, that seems like a. Uh, should we cut black? No, because we're just gonna play. No, because we're just gonna play the backside of this, which is totally fine. We only have the only the only cards we really care about for through the breach are Dragon Lord and Kozilek, and I don't think that's enough. Oh man, this guy Ethan who bought a card for me on on Facebook, he's like, "Hey, just want to see if you sent the card yet." I sent it today, and I was like, "Yeah, I popped it in the mail." And he's like, "It's all good. I trust you." I asked because I'm a mess. Thanks for letting me know you sent it. I was like, "Oh man, no worries. That's hilarious." I'll get that rent.
Oh, Samurai comes along. You must whip it. Yeah, I like it. I'm down to clown till I'm dead in the ground. When a moxing comes along, you must pick it. Oh, hey, was watching earlier. Way to be a creeper, buddy. Shape it up. It's not too late to whip it. Oh, I like that. What I don't like, not having any mana for it. <sighs> Pretty sure we just kill this. It's the safest course of action. Because this doesn't actually do anything for us next turn. We don't have a green for this, and this guy's a little bit off, so... Plus, if we do draw green, we can play Thran Dynamo and still cast Rex Sage if we really need to. Whoa, you're being, now you're just being rude. That wasn't very nice. If we hit a land drop, we could have literally played Spellseeker as well. And then next turn, keep up Mana Drain. Mm, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. The problem with spell seeker is they're gonna know we have a spell seeker. Or a mana drain, rather. That's the word I'm looking for. Oh, I see. Okay, that's actually very good for us here. We're gonna get a forest. Two, three, four, play Thranny Boy. And kill this thing. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. And next turn we have Dragon Lord of Tarka mana up. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're also two mana away from Kozilek. It's all happening. Um. Yeah, I'll just take two here. God dang it. Papa's getting mad. <laughs> Nothing makes a girl happier than dropping a drawsy down. <laughs> hey girl, are you gonna drop them drawsies or what? When something comes along, you must whip it into shape, shape it up. It's not too late to whip it. I think we just have to put the shields down here for a for a spell. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. What there's no green? How's that even possible? Did I did I literally use the oh, oh, oh I used this for green and I tapped this for black. Come on. That's funny. I only have two cards in hand. Let's see if they're Yep. 
I got that J and J the other day. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> oh, oh, how nice. Cool. I'm enjoying that. <sighs> well, this is how you do, I guess. Wow. Feels bad, man. Literally have to waste this on this idiot. That's hilarious, because otherwise they just pump it to a million. We can't do anything about it, so. You got it. Oh, what up, Grandma? <laughs> God, this is exhausting. So they what have we block here? They take four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. God, these games just go to shit. It's so funny. I guess I like I played Dragon Lord of Tarka. I just should have waited. I don't know. Like again, they just had to have consecrated Sphinx, which is drawing them like ten cards right now. Just finished playing Bridge with Phyllis. Oh, good. They have their own time warp. Cool. Super cool. <sighs> Boy. Sure. Sphinges? <laughs> oh, God, don't say that. <laughs> oh, what if we go Dynamo into Phyrexian Metamorph into Dynamo? That seems good. Because even if they kill one Dynamo, the other will survive. Hmm. Well, isn't that fascinating? I kind of just want to play Garrick here. Sure. Okay, well, they didn't... Um, 
I guess they could still go bounce beast with with your boy. Yep. <sighs> Definitely copying that now. Two, three, four, five, six. Like there's no world they block, so we get a f just a free hit in there. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Guess we're just gonna get a bunch of cards each. Good times. Mm, yep. I mean, they turned down the last three, so I'm just going to draw two more. Fill my hand as well. Sure. Interesting. Okay, I was like, what? You got it. Gary dies. Sure. Oh. Okay, well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have 10 mana. We can exile this and still lives. Oh, that's pretty good. Alternatively, Valky does not live because Valky is a five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, now we both have full grips, so that's where we are now. <sighs> Man, something exhausting about Constantly having our never didn't have it. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven mana. This is a seven. Sure, dude.
Yep. I think we're just going to leave this guy alive. It can't actually hurt our Atarka. And this takes them off two mana. And it's a two turn clock, so whatever. This is non dragon, just so you guys know. Can't hurt its own. That would have been amazing because then you could have standard formats where it's like, Glorybringer, kill your Glorybringer, Glorybringer, kill your Glorybringer, kill your Glorybringer, and it's just back and forth. So they kind of avoided that by uh, making it non dragon. Man, one more turn, we could have killed a tree speaker too. Oh my god, they did exert it. What? <laughs> oh man, they probably were like, well, I'll just steal it four, and then they can't block. Nope, non dragon, brah. Wow, Mediocre Magic Man definitely called it. I, I, I definitely did not think that was the thing that was going to happen. <laughs> That's amazing. Because it doesn't make you choose the targets until you exert. Until you choose exert. And once, it's, once you've chosen exert, like, oh, God. That was amazing. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Man, they have Ancient Grudge. That kind of sucks. The deck seems very good. Consecrated Sphinx is kind of a pain in the A. I mean, we had Dull Mox Mana Vault, like... <sighs> I would love to bring in these if we had more green. Actually, Assassin's Trophy is probably pretty good here. Let's be honest. And we can get it with a Spellseeker. Hmm. I'll go to 41 for that. Man, a Mox here would be great because then we can go first turn Lotus Cobra, second turn Vista into Portal. I mean, we're still going to keep it. Okay. They have a ton of mana dorks. Like this one, for example. Can we go Prismatic Vista next turn for a blue? No, there's no way to do it. Wait. Play the Vista, crack the... Uh, no, because we only have one blue in play. <gasps> no. No, we can't do it. Play the Vista, add a mana. Crack the Vista for a blue, add another mana. Yes, we can. We can go Spellseeker next turn, keep up Mana Drain. That seems good. I'm a fan of it. Never mind. I don't even know why I fucking think about plans. Like they always happen to have the one thing that we've, we've never seen before yet. There it is. So never fails. And I'm sure next turn they're just going to play. Actually, they don't have a single blue. So. Yep. Get that MD.
Oh boy. Hmm. Well, I mean, the problem is now they have a four four, so we have we have we have to play things. They do only have two cards in hand. All right. I'm just waiting for them to play a second blue source and then slam Consecrated Sphinx for the third out of three games. Okay. Put encounters on your things. Seems good. Guess we're taking nine. Oh, they read it. That's too bad. Two, three, four, five. So you see, the funny thing is, if we had a, a land that came into play... Oh, we do have a land that comes into play untapped. Isn't that fascinating? How dead are we otherwise? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So what is this? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine? And we're at ten? <laughs> <laughs> I guess like we're just like, oh, hope you don't have a land. Hope you don't have one single land. Yeah, this is kind of stupid. Like, I, I feel like our deck with double mocks, man. Again, I, I don't fucking know how many times I have to say it this this vintage cube season, but I feel like our deck with double mocks, mana vault. Like, we have upheaval in our deck, right? Like, that is a card that we're playing. Double signets, wall of roots. Oh, look, there it is. We found it. Wait, one, two, three, four, five. Six. Did I miscount? Never mind. This game's over. <laughs> I fucking thought I had seven. I really only have six. <laughs> oh, man. Actual go fuck yourself, client. Actual go fuck yourself. Fantastic. Having a good time. I We could not have lived one more turn if they had a land. No, that is not correct. We're at 10. They have five here, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 damage. Uh, we, we can't cast this. This doesn't help us. This comes into play tapped. Can't counter anything. We have six mana sources, one, two, three, four, five, six, and we have an ancient grudge. Doesn't, doesn't target anything. So in no world are we able to live another turn. Like, it's just, I'm kind of, like, fucking flabbergasted at how fucking shit poor these draws have been. Not even the draws, but, like, <laughs> the decks aren't doing anything, even though we have very clearly outlined plans that have tons of support for them in the decks. Like, this is wild to me. Like, this is easily the worst first week of a Vintage Cube I've ever played. I hate to complain. I really, really do. It, like, bugs me to actively be fucking salty and, and shit, but, like, it's really frustrating because I'm like, our deck seems good. See, like, this could be a turn three Karn if this guy survives. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear Jesus. <laughs> I get Leon and Relic Warder. 
Oh my god, dude. <laughs> I fucking can't. I can't. Absolute solid gold. Solid gold. <sighs> I trophied with an absolute crap random rare deck, but I did have a lot of one and two mana spells. I mean, so do we. I don't know. Uh, it was not seven mana with Cobra and Mox, no. It was six mana. This produces three. One from it coming into play, one from the other land coming into play, and one from the land tapping. So this was three. Four, five, Mox is six. Magic is definitely a hard game. Especially when your opponents always have it. I don't care about that. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah, come in there with the Leon and Relic Order, please. I'm begging you. I would love that. Yep, that guy's got to go. So we got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Not Kozilek mana, but... It'll do. If your opponents don't always have it, are you even playing MTGO? I don't think so. I've got a flicker wisp out of them. Sure. Boom, 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 And I'm tempted to just play Rexage because if they get rid of this, they kill Karn, and I don't think that's worth it. And we're going to say no. Land lets us play uh, Kozilek next turn. And that's really all we want. Hey, guys, look, they found a way to fucking kill Karn this turn. That's amazing. A subpar creature connecting with a 1 1. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking amazing. <laughs> oh, God. Welcome back to the Never Don't Have It train. Yep. Good times. Uh. 
All right. That was a that like oh god it's the actual worst worst four cards we could have drawn in our deck full of inferno titan uh valky This is a fucking joke. Like, this isn't even fun. I'm not having a good time. No black sources. <laughs> Actual miserable. Like, we have Upheaval we could have drawn, Dragon Lord of Tarka, Inferno Titan... Even Muldrifter blocks, we could have Frexian Metamorphed copied something. like. I mean, like, we had so many cards we could draw. And, like, we hit, like, absolutely none of them. So, this is, this is, this is wild, dude. Like, I'm... <laughs> Mox Mox Mana Vault Mana Drain. <laughs> Lost to Spectral Procession Tokens. And a Felidar Retreat. Seems good. You are very powerful. I don't think so, buddy. Not not feeling it, unfortunately. I've seen the power it isn't present, buddy. I don't think so. I mean, this could be a an upheaval. I'm a crappy Yoda. <laughs> I've seen the power. It is impressive. Mm. Oh, sort of body of mine against the predominantly blue green deck. A solid choice. One, two, three, four, five. We have eight mana next turn. Oh, we just win the game. Did they mulligan? Now we see Mox. Now I want to bring this back in because now we see Mox and Sword in the same deck. And like we didn't see either of those in the first game. So take out Spellseeker, I guess. That was impressive. I agree. This hand actually seems decent. If we can draw like any Mox or a Mana Vault, like it's actually a pretty early Valky. Turn three Garrick is pretty decent. I'm okay with that. They've not played any. Hey. Let's play around Mana Tithe. All right, I think we might have this one. This seems like a... Oh, double mox. Makes sense. One, two, three, four, five. So not there yet is what you're saying to me. Okay. I mean, once we hit seven mana, we're fucking going off here. 
make a token, give them, give them both counters. How about that? There it is. There you go. Oh, interesting. Okay, now I'm kind of tempted to kill the fell at our retreat, to be honest. Two, three, four, five. We have six mana total. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, six mana total. So we can actually metamorph the Muldrifter. We could also kill Elspeth. Like, giving them flying actually like it protects our, our Garrick a little better. And Garrett cleans up nicely next turn. I think we got to get rid of the retreat, actually. Okay, Hunts, take it easy. One, two, kill this thing. I think it's probably better to not take an extra the extra points here. What do we got here? Green, black. We don't need double of anything, but we might need double. We have double blue. Okay, that's good. We have double green. Probably just getting a red here. Okay. I have no idea if we're winning, to be quite honest. This putting counters on his creatures, like making a 2-2 two -two every turn and then making your guys, like, bigger every turn is also just pretty bad. You know, for us. I don't actually know what they could take here that I'd actually care about that much. Muldrifter, maybe? Wall of Roots. Interesting. Fascinating. Oh, uh, yep. Sounds good. Sounds good. Well, I'm definitely blocking here because if they find a way to remove our creature next turn, then we don't actually get to uh, block and then we take an extra 10 and die. Seems about right. So we only have one green source here because Wall of Roots is gone. So we can't cast Garrick. Six, seven mana, seven mana, seven mana. Six mana comes into play tapped. Okie dokie. Well. Five, six, seven, fourteen, fifteen, seven. Yeah, they can't actually kill us this turn as far as I can tell. I mean... Oh, you just gave this guy four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, forty, fifteen. I mean, I kind of want the Mull Drifter back, but I really don't think it's going to matter with this hand. So I'm actually just going to block here because everything else goes away. Shut up and take my money. She goes six. Oh, Sammy drafts at least two cards of Stiff Draft. <laughs> Sammy, I love you, buddy. I'll definitely add that to the queue. Hopefully we can hopefully we can complete it. Oh, we're definitely playing up people next turn. <laughs> sure. I, I don't I don't understand any of it, but alright. Four, five, six. Four. 
Sure. So they have Elspeth, planes, 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 I think. I don't know. Uh, banishing, Silver Blade, and Oblivion, and Ring, we'll say. Okay. So now we can go Gorge, Signet. Garrick. Make it, okay, we just win the game. <laughs> Upheaval is a hell of a drug, guys. Upheaval is a hell of a drug. All right. Uh, good game. It was an okay game. <laughs> I like how you played a card that wasn't bounced after everyone like still had this card that you never even saw before, buddy. What do you think about that nerd? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Come on, match. Let's go. All right, let's do it. It's a tough stiff, but if anyone can do it, you, you can. I appreciate the, the, the vote of confidence. You're too good to me, buddy. It's too good. You too. Look at that bird. Put a bird on it. Every day. We could have actually played Lumbering Falls and next turn played Island and keep up the uh, mana drain, but god damn it. How many times I can count the number of times on one hand with no fingers that I've seen a turn two Trigon Predator in Vintage Cube? Oh, we don't even have a green. Oh, yes, we do. We can play Signet. Does it even work? Signet for two, one to activate, play Lotus Cobra, play this, have one, two mana. It doesn't do anything. I mean, it's still better than not using it.
Yep. To the surprise of no one. <laughs> it's just, I'm, I'm just, I'm like flabbergasted. Like I've never had plays like this before. <sighs> Here comes Mox, you ready? A land. I don't really even want to play it. Because it's only four mana. I mean, this is four mana, so if we counter any three mana spell, like, we're just doing quite well for ourselves. I can only hope they tap out. They kill this. We get to go land. Oh, boy. Oh, God, it's happening. Bazorples, my dude. Okay, now we're, now we're feeling a little bit better about our life choices. I don't even know if I would have killed that. Like, it's just more damage every turn for us, so. Let's add a green. Five, six. We have nine mana. So we can keep up Ancient Grudge? No, we can't because we added a green instead of a red like a dummy dum dums. Five, six, seven. I mean, the damage is done, right? But... Oh, dummy dum dums. I don't care about that. I don't impress me much. <laughs> you gotta do the thing, but are you doing the thing? I think we're just dying with Lumbering Falls here. I have a feeling they have a removal for this guy, but... Ooh, no removal for that guy, huh? Get that course. Chart it. They have the top decker. Okay. They have the top deck and answer for our Dragon Lord. They did not do that. Wow. Okay. Okay. Super phase four. Impressive. <laughs> okay. See, that's funny. That's a funny Shania Twain reference. I feel like this Assassin's Trophy should just be in here. Just be in here, you know? Wow, Shania didn't even spell my last name wrong, and he's been subbed for like 70 years. Almost three years. Come on, Shanala. Unbelievable. I just a typo. I'm sorry. Oh, God. And this is actually... Uh, it's all right. I felt a little behind there, not going to lie. No. There's nothing they're going to play on turn two that I really want to counter that we're going to take advantage of. We can wait.
Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> but that will keep me warm in the middle of the night. So then now we're talking. Now we're getting somewhere. We get to keep up Ancient Grudge and Mana Drain here. Chef's Kiss. gotta go bud i love you i'm sorry i love you i'm sorry i managed reindeer karn to play my own karn four five six seven no keeping that right up six seven Give me that guy. Give me that guy. That's fine. Joke's on you. Ancient Grudge is still an ancient grudge in the graveyard. <laughs> Whew, that's a good one. Give me that baby. Give me that dog. That's not, that's literally what I was thinking of. I forgot I said baby for some reason. That's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> Give me that dog. That's not your dog. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> for those who don't know, that's Will Farrell's character on his two episodes of The Office. Give me that dog. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. You know who doesn't care, though? Karn. What is one, two, three, four, five, six? Give me that dog. So what do they have? Awakening, forest, swamp, swamp, slime. That's what we're bouncing here. Okay. What is this? These are swamps, right? I don't know why I put W's there. I think it was for the Womp in Swamp. Now I gotta go listen to this song. I'll be back. Okay, Sammy, enjoy. Tell Shania it's when we said hi. I actually don't know if we should have upheaval there, to be quite honest. We don't really have much to follow up with, but... Okay, so um, they played Awakening, and they played Forest. So we know they have Swamp, Swamp, Slime. Swamp Swamp Slime. You guys ever play that game when you were a kid? Swamp Swamp Slime? It's like Duck Duck Goose, but, you know, just a little bit different. I guess we should have attacked there, right? Don't be a land. Asked you nicely. You didn't... You didn't... Wow, that was good. Holy shit. Wow. You have Liliana's Triumph. Our people was actually terrible. Jesus fucking Christ. This is a joke. <sighs> Never don't have Liliana's Triumph of all cards. <laughs> like fucking beside myself right now. This is amazing, dude. Like, we'd have Karn on board. We wouldn't have to worry about that. We have not seen an answer to Karn. 
we could exile their creeping tar pit if we saw that. Now they're going to play acidic slime. Now we have like three seven drops we can draw. And uh, we don't actually have a way to cast them. So we have to draw two cards if we want the seven drops to do anything. That's a ten drop. Okie dokie. <sighs> this is amazing. I'm glad you guys in the chat are also acknowledging how absolutely amazing this has been. Yep, legit never actually letting that resolve. I mean, it resolved. I'm letting it resolve, I guess, but, you know, you can have a stupid land if you'd like. So, you know, they do have one swamp and one random, two random cards in hand, I guess. All right, well, that's cool. Wow, we were in so much better shape before the upheaval. Thran Dynamo? Jesus. We just shouldn't have upheavaled. We had no incentive to upheaval, except for like resetting the game and thinking like we were going to be ahead because we have four lands on board to their none, which seems reasonable. What? Oh my God, stop it. <laughs> Jesus. Well, they had to draw Mind Twist and they had to awkwardly have Liliana's Triumph. Because if they don't have Triumph, we get to seven mana before they get to five. But once they have Triumph, they get to seven mana. They get to five mana the turn before we get to seven mana, which means then we don't get to seven mana. So, like, Lil Liliana's Triumph was actually just an insane fucking, like, card no one plays, even though we have a he hexproof land. Like, it's pretty wild. Like, I I'm actually, like, it's pretty weird. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, I'll play a five mana draw one card. Go ahead. I mean, it's just comical because like me forgetting to attack or, or declining to attack with Lumbering Falls actually ends up being the correct play. Uh, I think we still have... Yeah, we do. Okay. Still got a charter course in here. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Ship Kazi and put everything back in the deck, I guess. I mean, they might just not have much left in the chamber, but I'm sure they'll hit they'll him to Torak us or something. I did not. Oh, I was like, I didn't know that was still in the deck. Yeah, it turns out. One, two, three, four, five, six. <sighs> I mean, I have five on board, so we're definitely blocking acidic slime. I mean, we can draw Karn, we can draw Assassin's Trophy. They're definitely on the Creeping Tar Pit plan at this point.
Okay, that's actually pretty good. Um, I think actually, actually that puts us in the driver's seat now because now we can exile acidic slime. And we get to keep up Mana Drain. That's actually really, really good. How much longer you got for that? Two turns, huh? Yeah, that's totally fine. Not a card I care about. I don't care about this at all, really. That's totally fine. We have an Inferno Titan in our hand. Well, they really play the island, and I'm sure that I'm sure both of these are in play now. Upheaval again? Oh God, do we do it? <laughs> do we do we risk it again for a Labiscuit? So what is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. We float two. We get to play Mox and Land. That gives us four. We get to keep up Mana Drain. We have Mana Drain. We have... Oh God, I don't know. It's really tempting. We can also just exile this. What do we... like? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're floating two. Oh, I do think we do it after the drain. Yeah, that's a good point. Let's. Oh, we get a free land here? Sure. Oh, and a, and a Sylvan library? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I, we're just playing Inferno Titan, keeping up mana drain, right? This has got to be good enough, right? <laughs> this board is pretty insane. Also, if they draw a bunch of cards next turn after we upheaval, they don't get to play anything. You know what? Sure, you're going to take this anyway, so I have. there's no incentive for me not to cast this here. Okay, this is decent. This has to be it, right? It gives us two more mana, which means we should have six. Can we just kill them though? Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. You know, I'd just be dead, right? Oh, we got a Cosima and a Thran Dynamo? Hmm. You're at 11. This is 8. Nine. Oof. Good games. <laughs> Bye, chat. <laughs> Nine. Oh, we got it. Two, one. Thank good, good grief. Oh, my God. I didn't think I'd see the day. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe. And be sure to 
subscribe. It's the best way to press F in the chat. What a grindy, grueling grind fest. Dude, I'm so content with 2-1. You have no idea. It's like the best I could ask for. Oh, my God. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.